You know, this takes me back to my old days when I used to read comic books and all that, and I had this real big superhero mindset. And I tell you, in some ways, I almost kind of want to go back and be that superhero. But, you know, my superhero is kind of more like Punisher, you know, because, uh, yeah, those guys need to get what they give, right? So I imagine me just doing this to those, those Hot Wheel thieves. But then, what would that do, right? Because remember, every time Batman captured the Joker or the Riddler or whoever, they'd go to jail, they'd get out, and they'd do more of the shenanigans again. So obviously that's not it. So what do we do about this Hot Wheel thievery, or can we do anything about it? Well, I'll say this. I don't think it's about calling people out, because, you know, thieves gonna be thieves, scalpers gonna be scalpers, and people are just gonna be people. So instead, scoot up. Let me call you in. See, here's what we can do. Now, you guys should know by now, or maybe if you don't know by now, I'll just share with you that whenever the thieves go to the toy aisles and they see that they're ransacked, that tells them that nobody's coming by and straightening. So then they get emboldened to then go steal. So one of the things that we can do is respectful, reasonable, real diecast hunters and diecast collectors and just good people in general is, hey man, Straighten up the section so that it doesn't look like there hasn't been an employee by in a while. Now you might say, well, yo, P, that's not my job. They should be doing that. Well, understand this. Their job's a very busy one. Now, because of all this thievery, they've had to cut back on employees. And sometimes it's just, it's hard to find good employees anyway that want to stay there and do that for a living. So we can help them out by just saying, hey, if I see some stuff kind of strewn about, set it back up. We know where the stuff goes. We're in the stores all the time anyway. There's also another thing to that. When you do that and the toy people see that you care enough about the section, like they care about it, then now they're more apt to want to go get you boxes and see if there's stuff in the back for you. But otherwise, right now, they're just going to see us Hot Wheel collectors as just like all those knuckleheads who are stealing all these cars. They don't want to do nothing for us. They're not motivated to want to do nothing for us because we're tearing up their section and then making them look bad to some degree. And that's if they care. That's why I mentioned Target more so than I would mention maybe Walmart. But maybe they care at Walmart too. So here's what I would do. That's what I think we can do, right? If we keep cleaning up the area, if we show up, maybe we can be the eyes that they don't have right at the moment because they can't put everybody everywhere. And maybe while we're in that section, you know, we're just letting people know that, hey man, I see you, I see what's going on. Hey, you know, and again, not that we're gonna get involved and do anything. No, I'm not saying that at all. But just one thing we can do is make the thieves not feel so emboldened that they can just do this and just get away with it. They see that there are people there that are all, that are cleaning up, putting things back. And, and then the toy people, more importantly, if they see that we've put stuff back and after a long shift, that goes a long way to building rapport. And by the way, you want to get in good with people, especially you want to talk to employees who actually like us. They'll like us when they see that we're willing to kind of help them keep it at bay. Because right about now, they're losing jobs or getting people out of there. And pretty soon they'll start shutting down stores. Or before that, they'll put stuff behind glass. And you don't want that because we already know what it's like now having to strip down just to go to the airport because of what happened because of 9-11. Well, you don't want to have to go to a store where all the Hot Wheels and premiums and everything everything is all behind glass. Yeah, it's going to be more of a hassle. Listen, these people aren't going to continue to lose money. Corporate people, once they figure out that this is a losing proposition, they will shift the game. So let's don't do that, because then you'll all have to buy all this stuff online. And you already, some of you already don't like to buy stuff online already. You know, and I get some of it, because sometimes you can't see what the condition of. But if you don't want everything going online and then, you know, paying more even more of a premium, then you know what? Don't steal in the real time. And by the way, for the parents, and by the way, if I'm not talking about you, then I'm not talking about you, but at least you know what we can do to at least help from our side. But parents, if you're going to go there and shop at Kroger, or not Kroger, if you're going to shop at Target and just let your kids just run loose and play around in the toy section with no supervision, not a good deal. Not a good plan. Because if you won't buy them toys, guess what they're going to do? They're going to steal them. And most parents don't even know what their kids are doing most of the time, right? Because the kids know how to play you, right? Because you don't want to believe your kids are that way. 
right? So parents, don't leave kids unsupervised just playing in the toy section like it's their toy, their own private toy room. Be present. Be there with the kids. And again, I can't really tell you how to, you know, watch your kids. I can't do that. You wouldn't listen anyway. But you know what? A grown man shouldn't have to tell another grown man or grown woman how to watch the kids in the first place. So really, leaving them unsupervised, not a good plan. Once again, not a good plan. So that's just something that I'm thinking about on this. I don't want to leave this on a negative. There are some good positive things that's happened, but I am very serious about that one because I do see serious consequences for it. But here is something, so as not to leave this on a bad note, that I actually enjoy. Tell me what you think. Let me go ahead and, and give a shout out to the new subbies because we definitely appreciate you. So Rich Jones, big thumbs up, bro. Thank you for subbing. Also, Kenneth T. I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name, Kenneth, but I think you know who you are. And finally, Skyline Hot Wheels, thank you for subscribing. And so with that, let's go ahead and do the full treatment. Now let's put your name in the lights, new subs.